Sora's Evil getting into the semis finals right now for QuakeCon 2013, uh, <laughs> DreamHack 2013. <laughs> Here. Fight. Between Rafa and Sight, uh, Evil. Now let's go right off the start. We are going to be on Rafa. He has got red armor. We right, picked up the rail already. Getting the quick map right away. You usually see these uh, low players playing Toxicity pretty much at the end of their best of five, but they're going for it early on this occasion. Yeah, I'm guessing Rafa picked it, seeing as he did very well against Evil on Quake yeah. It was actually right the only there. map that was very clearly decided in one player's favor, which was Rafa taking the victory. Um, but Evil actually so he seems to be doing pretty well off the start, as he gonna, he's gonna get this red. A lot of damage by that. And yeah. Rafa is wow. having to save himself with Rafa Jump from the danger of Evil's trail. And Evil, this looks like a reward. This could be a kill. Evil is gonna be getting the first one right here. Being super aggressive, and maybe is he gonna be able to convert? Oh my god, Rafa's rockets pushing him away. We've still got a few seconds until this red spawns. Rafa makes a move, six health left, and evil. He's gonna bring it 2 0 now. He is so weak. Yeah, and if I was evil, I would have considered killing myself in that situation. He knew Rafa spawned far away. This means if he just waited for Rafa to spawn and then killed himself, he might have spawned at the red. But you know, it's. Consistently such a map where if you die with slow HP, it can be so dangerous because your opponent can just clean up the map mm -hmm. and then kill you. And that is... controlling consistently is really huge. But Evil has been able to save himself. Oh, um, not for long though, 2-2 two yeah. two now. Rafa with a great amount of lightning gun, tying it up fast. And this is what we have seen on QuakeCon actually, when Rafa um, and Evil in the beginning was pretty close. But then at some point Rafa just grabbed control and mm -hmm. from then on there was just nothing Evil could do, and this is looking very dangerous for Evil because Rafa has got the red and the yellow, and then if he gets this yellow as well, or at least punishes it, which yeah. looks to be the case, then he will pretty much have all the items on the patient. He even gets the kill and takes the lead from that, and he's still absolutely stacked. Finds Evil out the exit. Evil actually making a jump for the Mega Health. He is picking up his rockets are very good. This will help him out in the future. Oh, the rail just missing up, and Rafa pushes onto the red armor. And we've got a... Uh, and having to move back now, but Evil actually nice hitting rockets. a ton of rockets. He could go down here, that rocket is gonna hit. 13 health left and tied up once again. Evil not letting Rafa's control last for long. I think that's extremely important. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Rafa almost had a perfect rotation, but what hurt him is that Red and Mega were still spawning about the same time. So Evil used that, he pushed in, he didn't really. Um, like uh, the biggest mistake he could have done is to play too defensive, but he kept pushing, he challenged for the item, and it paid off. Yeah. And right, right now he's looking. He's, he's actually looking like oh. somebody who can take full control. Great rail. He's gonna get this red, and if he gets the yellows, well, this, Rafa's gonna be in trouble. This is kind of what it looked like for Rafa just a moment ago, and Evil turned it around very fast. I wonder if Rafa can do the same. Evil's found him just now. Rocket's looking good, but he misses the last one. Uh, he's still gonna maintain control though. He's, he's got Rafa weak, which is maybe even better than actually killing him, because Rafa is not going to be able to challenge any of the big, I big items. I mean, Red and Mega do spawn at the same time, but Rafa has like, I don't know, about 20 HP probably, so he can't possibly go to any of them. Ah, there it is. He is going to be dying. Evil extending his lead over here. And there's a Mega pickup, but Rafa spawned over at Red. He's moved up here, only Plasma to defend himself with. Doing a fair amount of damage, but not enough to deter Evil. 7-3 to three now, and he is starting to pick up the momentum. Rafa does take the yellow away, but he's going to die once again. Evil being hyper-aggressive, and despite Rafa picking this map, Evil is looking extremely strong. I mean, Rafa is, is having to sacrifice Frag right now, because a stacked opponent on Toxicity is worse than a stacked opponent on any other map. This is the map where you can really lock it down. And Rafa is just having to sacrifice his life just to... Even if it means just shaving off 50 HP of evil, it's still worth it. Yeah. And Rafa actually has been able to steal... Was it red, I believe? So... Yeah, he did Maybe you can switch over to Rafa, see how he's doing. He did, yeah, he's got 100 armor at this point, so he's, he's working at all right for now, so maybe got a chance to do some good damage. Red's gonna spawn right now, and he's actually gonna be able to push back on it. He's gonna have plenty to work with over here. The LG's gotta work nicely for him, but Evil does so much damage. 9 to 3 now, that is the biggest opportunity he's had. Well, but right off the spawn, the yellow works, but Evil just hits like a truck. There's one rail. LG for Evil. It's just his. It's his trademark, and it's working out so well so far. Mega is up. Evil has a lot of trouble getting to it. The, the health bubble isn't up. Does Rafa know Mega is up? I think they both know, but... Oh, nice work there. Rafa, Rafa finally gets the kill. That was a massive killing crew that uh, Evil was having. And Evil gonna try and uh, actually knock down Rafa once again. Oh, almost even picking up the frag, though. The lightning gun was looking so nice. But uh, Evil with the red armor off this one and finding the LG. Despite the score difference being pretty big, it's... 
it's still very well possible for Afton to come back because this is a map where if you get control once, yeah. you can get a lot of frags. So. And right now is actually a very good situation again. We, we've had a lot of this already where one player had potential to take full control and it hasn't happened so far, but maybe this is the time. Rafa is getting the red, one yellow is up, he's on his way, but he just can't make it. And this is so important. If he had gotten that one yellow, it would have made such a big difference. Right now Evil has something to fight with and potentially weaken Rafa. And because Evil's aim is superior, this might actually be enough to take a frag, so... Rafa can't really let go of the control. That's that's the important thing. Because then Evil might start picking up some energy. He's a little bit early for Red Armor, so Rafa does get his sixth kill here. And he's got plenty of time to get over to that Mega Health and really perpetuate his control. Evil's going to drop once again even faster than he even imagined. And let's have a look. A yellow pickup, almost 200, 200. Evil is in a lot of trouble. And look at the item plants, they're all spread around. This is so, so dangerous for Evil. And this is pretty much the perfect setup for rotation. He's gonna get the yellow, he's gonna get the red, he's gonna get the yellow, he's gonna get the mega. And what can Evil do about it? I mean, we've seen a game between Ruff and the Hang earlier, where the, where, where the Hang actually used a very interesting strategy, which is he just pretty much rushed all the items. And he managed to keep the uh, keep um, like track on of the rotation while he was out of control, which is incredibly difficult to do. But he just kept challenging the items until Rafa finally was worn down, and the hand could take control and then win the game. That so, one suggest the evil. So it is one possible strategy. Another possible strategy is to what evil does is just focus on one item and try to win it back. And somehow evil succeeded. Usually this doesn't work, but. You know, if you have evil fighting skills, perhaps this is a strategy that is even better, you know? Yeah, absolutely right. Rafa, he wasn't able to pick up any more kills. Evil got himself onto a red, and it was kind of he was kind of able to hold to Rafa's momentum. This is going to be mega. Nice. Oh, gets the rail just as he dropped for red. Well-timed shot. Uh, evil does drop again. He's only got the railgun in hand. Would like to hit another, but the plasma actually extremely effective. Rafa not able to bring it to that one frag game. He might have to wait a little longer for that. He just got a lot of the misdirection on that last play when Rafa just made the sound as if he was going to the Mega. And then just he just returned and got the frag. And that's just the beauty of Quake. These little tricks, these little mind games. He's surely going to be playing more of them here. Well, he doesn't need to do it there because it's just going to be the point black rail picking up a uh, frag. And he's very close to tying it up. And we still got two and a half minutes left. Evil, he might lose control. He can't even get onto red armor. There's the tied game. Great comeback there by Rafa. And he's straight onto the mega health. The yellow is going to be up right behind him. But he looks like he is hungry for blood. And Evil is putting so much emphasis on the red armor. And I feel like Rafa is kind of figuring it out now. Mm -hmm. Every time red is up, Evil seems to be trying to go for it. Uh -oh. And this Evil seems to be like... Oh, yeah, he definitely, and it's not been working for him. He's lost so many frags. And now Rafa this even has the lead. Evil going in for this. Rafa actually extremely weak. Gets up to the 50 health ball, moving around to the top. Evil can't get the yellow. That would have been a great denial. And he might find himself losing out on the next mega unless he can do some crazy damage here. We just heard Rafa. Oh, there it is. Yes. The plasma hurting quite a lot down to 50 health once again. Well, Rafa still gets the better of him. I knew there was a very important frag, and now this is again very dangerous. Red is not up yet. This is such a such a dangerous area, and wow, the vertical G by Evil is truly a master of that of that skill. It's Rafa is a oh my wow. god! Wow. And Rafa not happy about that. Evil, bring it back to the 2 fight game, but we're on the mega health already. 10 HP. Even machine gun would be dangerous now, but the 225s helping out a lot. Red and Mega up at the same time. And it's got to be so frustrating for Raf having lost that 120 armor stack because he didn't have enough health to make it up. And he's just going to have to hes gonna have to forget this moment and just keep playing. The evil thought he had a rocket there and tried to rocket jump up to Mega. And there it is. LG. Uh, at the top yellow. You know, he only to frags. Yeah, he, he does. And he's got less than a minute in which to get them. I think he's going to try and make a play on this next red. It's not up for a few moments, but... If he gets it relatively cleanly, then he can at least make try and make a rush. Uh, a last minute comeback, but Rafa just does too much damage. The acid pool gonna be helping out. 15 to 12 now, but Rocket's coming out from Evil. He can't hit anymore. And this uh, surely should be it. I mean, yeah. four frags. He just needs Rafa's to hold still, on tight. Rafa's still looking out, so he's gonna get this mega. I was just avoiding the Rockets going up from there. And the gap on the floor, and here it is, chasing through the teleporter, 17 to 12. He's going to be holding on tight and looking good at the beginning of the semi-final. Yeah, that's Rafa it. Gana. GG is called.
Rafa takes map number one in the first semis of this Dreamhack Winter 2013 Quake Live Championship. Meanwhile, look, he's going to get another chance on Blood Run, which will be the next map. Yeah, and no. I mean, if I'm evil, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm happy or if I'm disappointed because... That's anyway. Right. We are getting into game, man. This is the second map here of the semi-finals at DreamHack Winter 2013. And uh, Evil versus Rafa here. We're going to be starting on Rafa. He's going to be getting that top spawn with the red armor plasma in hand. Here's the railgun. He's not going to be able to so hit straight damage. Here comes the LG. Evil, is he just going to barrel through? Doesn't trust in the rail. But Rafa turns around of the PG and finally gets him out of his hair. And I can't believe Evil pushed it so far. I thought he did a lot of oh, damage. He was so weak there. That was like half a ball hit him. And he just overextended. Like, like he, he smelled blood and then he just couldn't stop. And now Rafa might actually get a second frag. Incredible railgun shots. That's 11 health left for Evil at the end of that. This is such a weird start. Evil just... He, he could have had a huge advantage and instead just overextending himself and turned it into a two frag deficit. And it's going to be such an upper battle from now on. And uh, I'd be very curious to see this game from Evil's perspective from now because he's going to be the one who has to stack up somehow. And I'm not even sure, like, he's going to get this yellow, this is great. But the red and the other yellow, um, I'm just expecting them to be locked down by Rafa from now on. Is Rafa actually making a big mistake right now? He left the red up and Evil didn't see it. This was a big chance for Evil to steal it, and Rafa caught a break. Yeah, it could have been very tight. Maybe Evil thought that he would have been hot on his tail. Well, Evil didn't even turn towards it. He yeah, didn't see he was up. Right, he didn't expect. Right. He, he didn't even consider the possibility Rafa could have done something in that stupid. Just <laughs> oh, and who's gonna be exploding there? He sent a rocket a little bit too close to Rafa. It's gonna be two to negative one now, and uh, well. Yeah, and I don't like this from Evil. Wow. Oh, Man. that hurt a lot. This is just incredible. Like, I, I would have said if this was any other play, this is a huge mistake. Just going the result, you with no stack. Why are you doing this? This is just asking for trouble. Uh, but Evil is like, uh, is, isn't the regular play. He's able to pull out these incredible LG angles, and incredible LG damage. Who is going to go for this? Maximize the damage. He knew he was committed to that fight and he had no way out. But he's now four frags behind Rafa and here on map two. I this is, yeah, this is over the top aggression. Like, I've seen evil, they're, they're different evils, and when evil plays a weaker opponent, he actually often plays like this. Where he'll just rush him down, not give him too much respect, and eventually you'll get control, and from yeah. then on it will be easy. Rafa does command respect, and you've got to yeah. play him that way. Otherwise, you're going to have a really hard time. Good rail there by evil. Rafa is going to be able to respond on those lower walkways. Almost picking it off an angle up at the top. There it is, red armor. Rafa can make a move onto Mega if he wants, but he's going to try and chase him at the top. This has turned out brilliantly. This is going to be four to negative one now. And Evil might spawn down over at the Rockets. And it's going to be over there. And Rafa can't find the shot, so Evil might have a chance now to play a little bit slowly. But Rafa, I'm, I wonder if he's going to just rotate all the items. He's getting the yellow and the red, and there's enough time to get to the yellow as well. And, I mean, if he does, Evil is in a lot of trouble. He's always able to deal with a lot of damage, but it's just not enough when your opponent gets all the items. He tried to get onto red there. That, that surprised me a bit, because he surely can't be picking fights in any of those areas, by the mega or by the red. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps that Evil just felt the necessity that his aim was very, very superior to Rafa's. So he's just trying to push the issue and, you know, make something aim heavy mm -hmm. happen, but... Is he on the red? No, he's having to run away. He moved away this the timing time. also seems a bit off, like the rocket jumped on the red seven seconds early and then had to fall back from it right now. Yeah, if, if his timing was maybe more on, then he could have had a chance. But at the same time, Rafa already has the timing and he's there at the correct moment to push Evil away or even get the kill. And Evil needs to sort of make a mental switch right now and mm -hmm. realize his tactic so far isn't working. He hasn't been able to really get Rafa low. Rafa, even after these fights that seemed like Evil was hitting a lot, still had, well, a hundred thousand some armor left. So Evil's got this just doesn't work, but that was good. You know, Evil finally decided not to just barge in with LG, but play it slow, just try to calculate when is an item that he might be able to steal. And oh, we, we might be looking at over here. Rafa does hit a couple of rockets. Evil, though. Actually, even stronger on that occasion, can't hit the rail from the side. We've got five seconds to red up. He's going to push forward. Evil wants to get himself on the board now. But Rafa dropping out good. eight health left. And Rafa is in a lot of trouble. On the exit, there's the rail. And Evil is going to get himself off the negatives. Still needs another kill to probably get on the board. Yeah, and this Mega's his. And he didn't lose that much health. So I'm actually surprised because it looked like Rafa's LG was very strong. But he 
evil right now. Full control, and now it's just now it's just time for him to try. This is what he's a star of Cody's best set. Oh, what a rail. Rafa saying, oh shit, because he knows he's in trouble. <laughs> yeah, he's not Red. content by that one. Red is up. He, will... he wants to, he was looking for damage. He's, he's just so, so keen to get some kills. I mean, he does not want to be trailing by four frags. He's already been trailing by five. And he's done you know, a lot of good already. He does need to rush it just being five minutes through this. I mean, we've seen how Evil was able to do so much damage out of control in situations where it didn't necessarily seem like he should be dealing it. So now in control, when he's the one with the stack advantage. I mean, Rafa's gotta be very scared right now. It's annoying that the evil What's he gonna do? Reds up. Oh, and the, of course, Rafa nice. made the move at exactly the right moment and stole a little bit of armor. He's on about 140, now 190 armor, having taken that yellow. And while those grenades mate. bouncing him around, evil in a lot of trouble, he gets away with two points of health. And now he is going to be fighting an uphill battle, trying to get himself back into some kind of control here. Neil seems a bit impatient. Like, that fight just now was so forced. Like, he did see the grenades, but he felt like he had to go there for whatever reason. He needed the frag right now, and it just wasn't the case. He needs to be more patient This Mega. Oh, he's just so early for the items the and for Yeah. I, I mean, he's already very early. I think he needs... He needs absolute precise timing on the items to make moves like that. Otherwise, he's just going to find himself dropping further and further behind. His rockets look good. 36 health left. But Rafa is able to convert even more. You know, I'd be curious if Evil actually times, because I always had the impression that he does. Yeah. I don't know why, but in this game, it actually seems like he doesn't. He's just so often on items at the wrong time, just kind of hoping they will spawn. And of course, this is a big disadvantage against Rafa, who I'm 100% sure. I'm at least oh, the two big guys. What a push there. I, I think Evil picked up the Mega, but the damage from Rafa was just phenomenal. Yeah. And maybe it's the stage, because Evil, last time he was on the stage, he lost 3 2 to Avec. And now it looks like he's feeling the pressure from Rafa. He is just dominating on Blood Run. That is Evil's pick. Yeah, and Evil was asking before the game if it was possible to play player area because he was saying he feels more comfortable there. Um, of course it can't can serve as an excuse, it's the same for both. Of course you're gonna be more comfortable where you played longer. Mm -hmm. But and I also don't I actually don't think his aim is suffering very his much. So, good, though, doesn't it? so if anything <laughs> it's probably that added pressure but actually playing in front of the crowd. Oh, that's true. Rafa. He's not really stacked enough to warrant getting to the rocket ship. Oh we got an air grenade here from Evil. But you know it's nice to have these little tricks and uh, flashy shots, but he, he needs to be doing stuff like that a lot sooner. He needs to be playing a more solid game. And I feel like with two and a half minutes to go, he does need a miracle. Oh, he kind of does. Um, I mean, if I was evil, I'd just try to prepare myself mentally for the next maps, because his approach right now to the game seems to be a little bit reckless and, and not like you would expect in the semi-final of the biggest tournament of the year. Yeah, no, that's absolutely right. He's going to need to clutch it some other way. It will be Lost World next. And that's certainly a map that Evil is capable of winning. But uh, he's going to be mentally, he's going to be quite far behind as well because it's very difficult to come back from you know, this kind of a two-map deficit and also a crushing defeat on what is meant to be your home map. 12-0 now for Rafa as he picks him off at the, off at the Red Rockets. Yeah, I mean, Evil had a chance. He got control back when it was 5-0 uh, scoreline. And there was still plenty of time left, I believe, about five minutes. And he just, he just couldn't wait, he just pushed in unnecessarily when it wasn't the right time. And instantly Rafa got control back and it was all over. Rafa's so. just sensing him really nicely at the moment as well. He's just getting a feel for Evil's game here on, on Blood Run. Been doing his homework, definitely. Should be able to get on this spread. Evil actually trying to make a push, but Rafa's LG. You know, Evil definitely hit hard early, but Rafa is... Is also hitting phenomenally hard. I wouldn't say phenomenally, but he's hitting solid. Like he is not hitting 100% OG in all of the fights, but you know he's hitting a solid 30, 40, uh, enough, 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 you know? enough to concern Evil and make him actually be worried when he's going into a fight with less of a stack than Rafa has. I mean, he he knows that his LG is strong, but it's not strong enough that he can win a fight with 100 health when Rafa has 200 health. And, you know, this was something that the Hang was saying earlier, um, is that, you know, the Hang feels like he himself has problems with where, where in some games he just won't hit.
many of the important shots. And he said that Rafa is somebody who always hits them. Like, yeah. shots that matter are Rafa's speciality. Yeah. Like, right him. now, he missed so many rails to fight him very easy. What is he doing? His aim is so bad. But did they matter? No, not at all. And if th those were rails, when the score would have been 5-5 five to five, and it would have been the last minute of the game, you know, it's another story. I'm pretty sure it would have looked different. But GG, guys. 15-1 to one on Blood on here in map 2 of the semi-finals. That is a dominant just momentarily guys we are going into the third map here in the semi-finals between evil and rafa it is lost world and we are going to be starting the action here on rafa yeah and red spawn for rafa uh, evil's got one of the yellows rafa's very quick to get to belgi and yeah this is basically the split we're probably gonna have with rafa having the LG, evil having the Rocket, but wow. Evil, what? I think Evil's Evil didn't. got a yellow and he's yeah, got, he just got, got a yellow. LG, but just a yellow. This is nothing. Rafa's going to pick up the first frag, and it was effortless, it seemed. What was Evil doing there, Twister? It looked like Evil completely misread the starting situation because he must have thought Rafa spawned at the Mega, mm -hmm. and he played accordingly, and Rafa could just get the Mega that was up like 20 seconds into the game, which was supposed to be Evil's. You know, based on the spawn. So uh, Evil's gonna try to hit so some He does a bit of damage there and actually manages to avoid some pretty nicely. But he won't be able to make a play onto Mega. He should be running away here. Evil, this is seriously the worst start he could have possibly got. This is definitely not gonna, not gonna aid um, his confidence right now. And Rafa is hunting for this frag. He's trying to cut off Evil wherever possible. Let's see if he's gonna make it. Oh, oh that was wow. a great rocket. That did about 70 damage or so. Evil trying to defend himself with Plasma. Goes for the shotgun at the end. Does get some damage. But it's all about Rafa. The we have got a timeout here from Evil. It looks like he's just trying to sort out his keyboard very yeah, quickly. Actually, a, a key fell off from his keyboard. Prepare that to is. fight. Looks Three, that is a bit unfortunate, two, but one. That, but that's gonna be it. We're gonna go back in very quickly. And hopefully, evil. I'll sort it out. Whatever his issue might be, but no, we've got another one. There's something extremely wrong with this key. It's being very annoying. Maybe this is the LG key yeah. or something. That, of course, is not what you want to have happen to you. No. And he was trying to fix it. Oh. Yeah, his keyboard broke. His keyboard broke? Yeah. Okay. Does anyone wow. have a spare keyboard? <laughs> well, let's uh, go okay. in. There is a time in at the moment, and so we're going to get back into it, it seems like. So we're on Rafa once again, and that's actually very sporting of him. Letting him yeah. get away, not taking him down. Very respectable uh, from Rafa to do that. So this might be a <laughs> blessing in disguise for you, actually, uh, these issues. Yeah. He's, he's able to get a red. He and got away unscathed, so perhaps this is like a second chance for him now, second life. Well, um, what can he do with it? I, I, I'm not sure. And does Rafa remember the time? Because, of course, such a break can really, really mess you up. And like he, he, I'm pretty sure he didn't remember when the Mega was, and he ended up giving it away for free. Now Evil has full control. He has all the center position. This is just so awful for Rafa. And Man, Evil really caught a break then with that, with that keyboard uh, exactly. issue. Exactly. You know what, though? Rafa, I don't think he'll be happy, though, if uh, this game goes badly for him. Because he's been more than generous at this point. He could definitely yeah. have gotten away of just killing uh, Evil over there. I mean, but Evil didn't do anything unsportsmanlike, of course. Uh, yeah, from, from, from the moment the red was given to him, Rafa kept playing as if everything was still on. So. You can speculate on that for a while, I think. But let's uh, stick it to the game right now. Rafa looking very good, although he has lost out on Mega. Uh, should we have a look at what Evil's doing uh, a little right, bit? Alright, let's switch around. So, Evil 200-200, of course. Has ammo on all the weapons and nice initial rocket. So he knows where Rafa is, and right now I really hope he doesn't get too impatient again. Mm -hmm. There's still seven minutes in the game. Rafa is still pretty stacked, so Evil just has to wait for a good opportunity. And, uh, I think Rafa's going to want the, the next Mega. I don't think so, actually. Like, Rafa realizes how well, stacked Mega, Evil is. He won't want to pick a fight, at least until yeah. he has one. Okay, so Rafa right now will just use the Mega spawns to get position in center map, which is what I think he did, and he mm. probably replenished his rocket ammo. So right now, Rafa is just going to keep distance. He wants to know exactly where Evil is at all times, and other than that, he's fine, just running away and trying to basically run his lead down to the end. 
course, it's not actually what he's thinking. He's not going to be actually just backing for the main of the game, but he's not going to pick anything thing aggressive. He's not going to push into any fights. Unless Evil has a back turn for some yeah. moment. Just, wow. Sure. But did you see that? Evil oh, just dear. incredible damage. Direct grenades, Rafa's face. And Evil is looking on the driving seat right now. Rafa still at the Mega. He's got the timing. Yeah, that's good. I mean, he's keeping a solid timing on. I think probably both the major items there. Rafa doing a good amount of damage. He is lacking a bit of health. Uh, actually, Evil, well, that he went down a lot at that point. Does get on the red. But Rafa, he's going to be evening things up if he gets the next yellow. Then, in fact, he's, he's not going to just even things up. He will be back into the lead of this control. Yeah, and I feel like Evil again got impatient. This was not a good fight at all. And, mm -hmm. like, there was no reason for him to take it. He could have gone to the red. He could have let Rafa ahead of the yellows and waited until a later moment. And he was just trying to push it. And I'm always a bit hesitant saying that it was a bad fight for Evil because it's Evil. You know? He's known to pull out an incredible fight. But so far, he hasn't done anything extraordinary, unfortunately for him. And uh, Rafa, I think, has 100-200 stack again. And he's feeling healthy and he's feeling fine. Five minute warning. Yes, this is right. He might be thinking about a flight fairly soon. He should know that he's ahead at this point. And he's throwing down grenades on this red armor, sensing that uh, evil is down here. Can he get any damage on the exit? He, he knows that whatever happens, he should be able to push over, get the mega health without any problems whatsoever. But Evil going for the jump up, taking a lot of damage. Rafa gets mega and moves away. Well played here by the American. Yeah, and uh, Evil... Actually, I don't know. Like, he needs rockets right now. That's I guess, should be his primary focus. But also, so far, he hasn't really been able to catch Rafa in any kind of situation where Rafa would be... Um, trapped, so to, so to say. Like the one situation where you got Rafa relatively low was when he had the random grenade out of his tower directly into Rafa. But as far as you know, just kind of trapping him and finding, a, you know, trapping him in a corner or something, he just hasn't been able to do it, and he hasn't been looking for it. I don't think he's been just going for the items and playing as if he's in the lead. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we have got to have a red spawning, but Rafa might not want to be going down to that point. Well, he can't because Evil's taking it. Let's see if there's any damage on the exit here. Evil timing his jump perfectly through the teleporter. Very nice there. Uh, well, we've had actually a few minutes now where they haven't even gone into a big fight. Yeah, Rafa's happy with that. Oh, this could be it, though. Rafa wants to commit. He's trying to push Evil away, and he is hitting so hard with that lightning gun. Mega in just a second. Oh, that grenade! Just millimeters away from his head, just bouncing over it. <laughs> We've got red armor up. Evil not going to be able to, uh, to get that. And Rafa is going to be here in full control. But two yellows don't go to Evil. That's not too bad. Yeah, man. Uh, a lot of the items will spawn at the same time, which is... I mean, you'd have to say it's good for Evil right now because he's out of control. So he might actually be able to stack up again. And Rafa right now is actually the dominant player despite being in the lead. Evil hasn't really been... Wow, nice rockets, great rockets. This might be what he needed, this might be what he aimed for, what he has been waiting for. Now just... I'm just begging you to not overextend again, just... Try to capitalize on getting items oh off, these, off this great damage and he just has Oh, this is nasty here for Rafa taking a lot of damage, he's on 40 health. Oh, is he? Wow. Yeah, he is so low after all of that happening. And I totally didn't realize how much damage he must have done in total. And, okay, so... Well, he's just Rafa stacked up a little bit. I mean, he's managed to find yeah. some, uh, some health and some armor. But uh, Evil with this red is going to be in pole position now to really dictate the pace of this match. And I'm, uh, I'm not sure about Evil's decision to go for the red because this might have been an opportunity to try to set up a trap in center map, just camp the middle doorway, you know? Um, because Rafa obviously will have to leave LG one way or another, so... Perhaps a missed opportunity. It's still not, not quite the time where you have to panic and try to make something by any cost, but it is definitely the time you have to make something. <laughs> yeah. Every second that he's right now is making it more and more unlikely that he will just you know, kind of given, be given a frag. Even if he gets the kill at, say, 9 minutes and 40 seconds, then there's still a chance to find off the sport. Although you don't really want to, you know, count on that as your, your comeback maneuver. And again, he's just not looking for traps. He's not looking to catch Rafa in these corners. So look, there, Rafa, he goes, drops down the map, but he's trying to back off here. A bit of LG damage from Evil. Finally, some urgency in Evil's movement. Rafa's a wow, great rockets, and this is gonna and hurt nice. Evil so much. And this might actually be a frag from Rafa. He could rocket jump. I'm pretty sure he could rocket jump. He's 100, 160. Evil has 77 HP. If Rafa rocket jumped and killed him, this would pretty much nail, nail this game in his favor. 
Yep, and Mock Ruffer with enough time left to go over towards the Mega. And uh, he misses his jump, so he's going to have to step up onto it again. Evil's back in the back corridor, picking up yellow. This is not what you want to be doing when you've got a minute left in the game and you need to make a comeback to save your tournament life here at the biggest quick life event of the year and even longer. Even though coming into the middle area, Rafa's going to protect himself. He's even got the 50 health bubble behind him, which pretty much summarizes what Evil's stack is at the moment. Yeah, and I, I, I can't imagine a possible scenario of what would have to happen for Evil to win this. Rafa would have to drop into the lab or something. Here it and is, though. Evil like he's in a lot of trouble, and he is going to go down. 3-0 now for Rafa, and Evil calls GG. Rafa managed to hold it through all the hard times in this map. And he is going to be seen in the grand finals here at Quake at DreamHack Winter 2013. Wow, I, I fucked up this thing. I thought Rafa might win, you know, I wasn't sure, but... Not like this, this. this not like of, this at this all. This sort of scoreline on the maps is just unbelievable. It, it was just, I mean, I hate to say it, but it was easy. Yeah, Evil. I mean, he made it look easy, for sure. He's going down here, three maps to zero. What a game here by Rafa. I'm immensely impressed, man, and on that map it seemed like he really just wanted...